everyone and welcome to your Rapicare tutorials. Today we are going to see how to use the Shade Viewer. Let's go! To you open the Shade Viewer on your Rapicare Vision software, double click on the R file of your choice in the list of your patient's items. Once you have done that, you will see a new window appear on the left side on your screen. In this new window, you will find at the bottom right some video tips that will guide you in the use of the Replica solution. Um, then you have some tools to help you analyzing the shade. The first one, the outline, which uh, enables you to redo, retouch the contour of your tools if it has not been done correctly. So you can select two modes, the automatic one or the manual one. In the first one, in the first case, you can click on the tools, you will see a green counter. So if you um, are satisfied with it, you can validate it. Or you can click again and again to have a good counter. But if you're not satisfied with it, you can do it manually. So with this mode, you have to make point by point a new counter and you have to be very close to the edges and to finish with the first point. Once you have done that, it will path green and you have to validate if you are satisfied or you can retry. I won't accept it because the contour I had was pretty good. Um, the second button is the stratification one. So you have as I said earlier, the polarized image. You also have on the top right some stratification icons. You can have the one zone mapping, the three zone mapping, the nine zone mapping, and the detailed one. You can also change the reference shade guide um, in the scrolling list. And finally, you can select the shades you have for your composites. So as you can see, when I uncheck the boxes, the mapping on the left will be automatically recalculating um, with the closest shades you have uh, that remain selected. So once you have done that, you will have to use this new mapping to make your composites. Then you have uh, the translucency mapping that we guide you with the translucence parts of the tools. Uh, the fourth button is the luminosity and contrast. So it will help you to see some characteristics on the tools. The fifth button, the measurement one, uh, will give you uh, approximately uh, the measure of some characteristics in millimeters or inches. And the colorimetric tools uh, will help you to know uh, in detail the LAB or the LCH values of a given point uh, on the twos. So it gives you the delta E difference between the given value uh, of the chosen shade guide. Here is the Vida Classical and the current value of the spectral data. So the higher the delta E, the more visible it will be to the human eye. Finally, you have a last button, which is the export one. Uh, so you can export um, your shade in RPK, which is our source format, or you can export it in PDF and, for example, send it uh, by email. Um, you have also two buttons. You can delete the shade or order it. Uh, there are shortcuts. Okay. If you click on the second option, you have three choices. You can cancel this window. Okay. You can order and open, or you can order without opening. Um, the order will be placed then on the Burger Connect platform that will be explained in another video. And if you check save the choice, uh, this manipulation will be done automatically 
and you will not be asked anymore. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening and see you soon for new tutorials.